How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Jumping straight into it, today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can get the fastest car in the game. This is a new car which was only added today and is going to be available for the next week. And I'm going to tell you the easiest and the fastest way to get this car and also why you should get it while you can. I know there's always new cars being added that's the new latest now fastest car and then there's another car that beats that but i think that this car is going to stay the fastest car in the game for a long time so get it while you can however just before we get into today's video i need to quickly talk about today's sponsor botb you can win your own dream car with botb the dream car competition company the tickets start at just 85 pence and there are over 150 cars to choose from. All you have to do is head to botb.com and have a go at their spot the balls competition and if you get the winning coordinates in the game, you win the car. BOTB also have a lifestyle competition each week as well where you could win a Visaro racing simulator worth over £10,000 for just 55p. The competitions are open to anyone in the world and you only have to be 16 to enter. Links are in the description below. Just quickly before I show you how to get this car, I'm going to do a quick top speed one so you can just see how absolutely mind-blowing this thing is. The acceleration isn't really much special. It's the top speed which you're about to see which is mind-blowing. 290, 293, 94, 96, 97, 98, 300 miles an hour, 301. It is unbelievable, and if I didn't crash into that fence right there, it would have continued. But yeah, it is easily 300, probably even 310 miles an hour, and this is how you get it. In the festival playlist for Autumn, 50% completion, you'll get given this Ferrari 599X, 599XX Evolution for free, as well as a Mercedes-Benz for 80% completion, but who cares about that? Now, when a car like this comes into Forza, obviously you're gonna wanna get it as fast as possible. So I have the quickest way to get this car in the shortest amount possible, shouldn't take longer than an hour. As you know in the festival playlist, each thing you do counts as a little bit of a percentage towards the 50%. Now I have written them all down and managed to find the quickest way to get certain ones done to get to 50%. So let's get started. First thing I recommend you do is the weekly force -a This will give you 15% towards the 50% challenge. The first challenge is to get into a track toy. I used the Porsche GT2 RS, it worked very nicely. The second challenge is to get a total of I think 12 or 15 stars on speed zones, also very easy. I went up to the mountain in the top right and just did the same speed zone over and over again until I got a total of 15 stars or 12, can't remember how many it is at the moment. The third challenge is then to get a million skill points in this. Now this took the longest but I just went to the airstrip and just drifted up and down, up and down until I got a million skill score. Um, and remember that the, the five times bonus actually does count towards a million so. And then the fourth challenge is to win three road circuit races. So it can't be a road sprint race, it has to be a road circuit race. What I did is I made a 20 second lap through the route creator that was a road circuit race and just made it impossible for the driver task to win. So all I did was just go around in a circle across the finish line and I did that race three times in a row. It took me about five minutes. And there's the fourth challenge done, and I'm 15% towards the 50. Then what I recommend you do is do all three of the PR stunts. They're very simple and easy to do. One of them I did in the Porsche Rally up at the mountain. Easily get the three stars for that. Then the dirt speed zone down at the bottom of the map. I think I did this in the Mosler, which worked surprisingly well. You just need to keep speed up to go through it. And then the other one, which is a speed trap in the middle of the map. This one I did in the Mosler as well. You just need a high speed car, very simple and easy. But all three of these PR stumps combined will give you another 18%. So if you add the 18 to the previous 15 that you had, that will get you 33%. And the chances are you would have already completed the daily challenge, so you should be at 34% by now leaving you only 16% left to get the Mosler and you're already like 10 minutes in and that's it. What I recommend you do after that is the monthly rivals event. This gives you 6% and all you have to do is one lap which takes under 50 seconds. Very quick and very easy. Click on the monthly rival, it'll take you to it. And there you go, you're straight up to 40% now. Now I'd recommend avoiding the online adventure just because it takes a while. I'd recommend avoiding the seasonal playground games as well because that takes ages as well. 
Now, avoid the trial if you want to. That again, it's just, it's online, it takes a while. All of these ones are very, very quick and easy to do and that's why I'm recommending them. So after doing the month arrivals, I recommend doing the showcase remix. This is only one race, it takes about a few minutes, which is another 6% as well. That'll get you up to 46%. So, so far, you've only done like a few races um, some PR stunts and some little challenges and you're already 4% away from getting your free Ferrari. The only downside now is you have to do a seasonal event. Now each of these seasonal events is basically three events. It's basically a championship. Now I would recommend avoiding this one because this one has four events. I'd recommend avoiding this one because this one is in big trucks so it takes a while. I'd recommend doing this one because this is in little rally cars like the Mitsubishi Evo and there's only three events to do so you can get it done relatively quickly and that will get you another 6% getting you to 52% complete as you can see and you will unlock the Ferrari 599XX Evolution for free. As I said, I try to find the fastest way to get these because I know that quite a lot of people are actually disappointed with the festival playlist and that it's just, it's more of a grind than fun and it's just not fun to do. So that's why I've tried to find the fastest way so you can just get it out of the way, get the car that you want and not have to worry about it. Which is why I recommend the weekly Forza-thon, the showcase remix, one of the seasonal events, the monthly arrivals and then three PR stunts. Very quick and easy to do. Completely avoiding the most difficult ones. As I said, this car is capable of easily hitting 300, unless you crash into a blue car like that, 300 miles an hour, which is one of the first cars that can technically hit 300 at an ease. The D-Type and the Mosler sort of can, but it's a bit difficult. This just does it. This just does it so, so easily. We're gonna try and get it here. And I'd like to give you a little sneak peek in the next couple of weeks, there may be a special video coming where me and a certain guest try to get this car with slipstreaming upwards of 315 miles an hour. One last run here. I'm about to smash 300 already. 300, 301, 302, 302. Oh, I, didn't, I did spike to 302 then, but look. Look how well it corners. It's unbelievable. We're about to hit 300 again here. 302, 303. This is just ridiculous, I'm telling you. See, I wanted this video to be just as short and as plain simple as possible. That is how you can get this car for, for free in this game in the quickest time possible. And that is what it's capable of. So anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.